Right on, guys. Um, we managed to get this back here last night, so this is the presentation we're going to run with. Um, I want to introduce you to Bat Booth 2. So I'll start off with what a Bat Booth 1 was, and then we'll move into Bat Booth 2. Basically what we're doing here is we're looking after the guys for silicosis and various different lung diseases or uh, things that damage the lungs. So what we have here is a chamber that guys get in to actually clean down. First thing they would do when they get in is they actually adjust the height. So we don't want to be blasting people on the face. I uh, also need to know we're blasting at less than two bar. So we're within we're within, we're, we are within the limits of um, compressed air usage in the human body. So now I'll move on to what the bat booth 2 is, and that's where we start to, or where we are measuring body temperature. Originally that was all about guys working in quarries and on mines in hot environments, and we wanted to protect them from uh, heat related issues. COVID at the time was not a thing. But anyway, we know now that COVID is also something we measure by body temperature. So we know who is in the bat booth, we know some conditions about their health, and we also tell senior management and first responders if something's wrong, or first responders if something's wrong. But look, I'll just run through it with the door open. The unit won't function properly, but you'll get to see how the, how the tablet works, and bear in mind that it's connected to a PLC for how the system operates. So here goes. So firstly, it's recognised who I am. Is that who I am? Yes, it is. Confirm I'm wearing my PPE. Now the fan in the background starting up. Start the unit. Boom. Down. So that's it. We're clean. We can blast again if we want but it's complete and it knows who's being cleaned. So, that was the uh, tablet. This is where the power of the unit comes from. Basically, we have an air receiver which we just keep topped up, but the driving force from that, from, for that blast was actually the air receiver, not the compressed air line. PLC to operate all the valves and what have you like that. Um, um, pressure regulator and flow regulation. Also, in here is the router, which gets the information back to whoever, um, as and when it's needed. Um, it's an export machine, so everything's in both um, English and Spanish. Yes, we are an Australian designer and manufacturer. The contaminated air that came off, actually, off me actually got drawn through the bottom and up through medical grade filtration. So in here we have um, two H13 filters, which is HEPA is required for silicosis and that sort of thing. 13 is a number that we've chosen. Um, it is the highest sensibly priced, or in our opinion, sensibly priced level of filtration for this style of application. It also means that um, we can fit it with essentially unskilled labour and still be in compliance. The contaminated air is drawn towards us, up through a vent here, the fan is here and the clean air is vented back to atmosphere. So, why don't we actually show you how it works. Alright guys, here's one we prepared earlier. Note that I would normally be wearing PPE, but this is not silica and we're just going to do this demonstration. Pleasant, the guys will use it often, they actually enjoy using it. So, how many do you want? <laughs>